Wow. Just wow. Y'all know I was hyping up my GOAT GARP. I was his biggest supporter. His number one fan. Some even say I was his right hand man. I was on the team, guys. I was on the team. But today, he learned these young niggas are different. Can't nobody keep up with these shysty wearing THAGS. Aokiji gave GARP a 10 piece and a Popeye's biscuit with no drink. Just overall, a nasty experience. So the episode starts and we see a flashback of young Garp and young Aokiji. They're using a whole marine ship as a punching bag. But then Aokiji busts up his hand while training and it kind of makes sense. You are not the man of steel, bro. You have no business punching whole ships and using them as punching bags. Then we cut back to the fade and this big dude wakes up and he got everybody shook. Except for Garp, of course. This man jumps into the sky and starts flying across the entire map to one shot this big old dude. Bro had a whole Tom and Jerry injury on his face, okay? He put his man in a spin cycle. Broski got hit with the fly swatter. He went across the entire map. Yo, then Garp does his tactical superhero landing, but I ain't gonna lie. After one shotting the hungry hippo, Bro has every right to land like Spider Man, bruh. He deserves it. If I win a fight against someone this big, y'all gonna be seeing me doing every single emo in the book, bruh. Y'all gonna see me doing Take the L in big 2024, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Humpty Dumpty hit the ocean floor and they were saying, quick, we need to pull him up. How? How you gonna pull up Los Pollo from the ocean floor, bro? It's like the Lego ads when a man would be like, help, in Lego City, King Von dropping the bank. What you want me to do? That man moving like the Joker, bro. I cannot stop him. They surrounded Garp and they start glazing like, you're him, Garp, you're him. And bro just starts emoting on them, you know what I'm saying? Then this fat dude pulls up talking crazy. He's like, you know we got them young niggas. Ah, we gonna crash that on you. I'm gonna, uh, ah, I'm gonna switch you down, boy. He drinks some sake and unlocks flamethrower, bro. But Garp came prepared. He was using dudes as shields. Actually, scratch that. Using dudes as fireballs, man. He was not playing. He was throwing burn victims. He was terrorizing the city with burn victims. So they already got knocked out. Then they got put on fire. Now they're getting thrown at Mach 4 at brick walls, bro. What did they do to make this man so mad? And then this fat dude just start laughing like, broski, you got a whole $5? $5 foot long chilling on your face, bro. What is you doing? You know you're fat when your earrings are on your neck, bro. This man got no eyebrows like Duke Dennis, bro. His tongue outside his mouth, you know he has erosive breath, just like crazy breath. But my man Garp was still locked in. But then the phone starts ringing, and it's all these little mid marines saying, The mission's complete. Yay. Bro, y'all didn't do nothing but run, bro. Stop it. You know it's bad when Kobe putting in more work than you. They had Hell Meppo looking like Prime Whitebeard out here, bro. But look how Garp stands as Aokiji pulls up from the Shadow Realm. And Garp starts tweaking because, like, that's Loki his mans. He's like, just run to the ship. Y'all niggas not built for this fade. But then, of course, Kobe has to fumble. He sees some civilian being held hostage and says, Ma'am, is this guy bothering you? But she trapped, bro. And now he's getting snuck by young YJ the Driller from South London, bro. So, of course, Garp has to sacrifice himself taking the shanking for kobe look at his face bro i know he wants to kill kobe right now this man is selling but instead he grabs shiryu by his throat and puts him up with one hand and slams shiryu so hard his devil fruit disconnects yo this man shiryu got his fruit off the haitian market because that fruit is flugazy bro it must be a smile fruit bro he got his fruit off timu i don't even know what to say bro because disconnecting devil fruit is crazy Makes sense though, cause like this man Garp is so big, but he got them Atlanta jeans on. Like, bro, you built like T Grizzly, I ain't even gonna lie. Then Kobe's like, oh, Jeepers Creepers, Garp, we gotta get these guys. Nigga, this is your fault. I told you to leave. So now all these young dudes are plotting on Garp, like, oh yeah, we gotta jump Garp now, collect that bounty, we finna get rich. But Aokiji got so much respect for the OG, there will be no jumping on his watch. So he runs down his own team and starts turning them boys into Aang the last avatar, okay? He runs up, so Garp locks in, and I gotta say, this is the goofiest fighting stance I have ever seen in my entire life, but hey man, he still pulls up. They charge for an iconic face-off. This is like Conor McGregor versus Khabib, okay? But it's more like Tony Ferguson versus Patty the Batty, you know what I'm saying? If you get what I'm trying to say, man. We go to a flashback, and it turns out Garp was never rocking with bro. He did not want to train this man, but he kept begging him. So after seeing how hard Aokiji starts working, he says, you know what, bro? You kind of eye white boy, okay? They start training all year round for years and years. So it's safe to say Garp and Aokiji was really locked in like that. They was locked in. We go to this other flashback, and like, why is this animation so good? They're just talking. This is a weekly anime. It's looking better than Boruto. 
all these other anime, bro. We're back to the future, and Garp W keys out Kiji, and they both land some crazy punch. And if you slow it down, there's an impact frame where they dap each other up, okay? Crunchyroll calling this the Galaxy Dap Up, or whatever they, they called it, you know what I'm saying, was kind of crazy. But more important than the impact frame is the real impact, bruh. This city is being destroyed. It feels like we've seen the city get broken like seven times, but there's still more buildings, bro. Like, the Avengers would have had this city gone in like five minutes, man. But then this irrelevant, broke, ugly ass nigga pulls up, never seen him in my entire life, and he uses his devil fruit to control the buildings because he's gonna destroy the civilian ship. So either it's time for Kobe to lock in or retire and put the fries in my bag, okay? Garp already getting jumped, man. He cannot help anymore. All right, y'all. It's me. I'm back on a completely different day because I had to wait for the newest episode. Anyways, this episode starts with Garp teaching Kobe and the future Marines how to be real ones and not be geeks. He said that there's a baby on an island and an old man. Leave that old man behind because all old people do is complain. Okay, maybe I said that, but like the point still stands. Then we go back to the future, and this massive hand is still going crazy on everyone. They have not stopped it yet. But you know how Toei and One Piece animation works. That hand's not gonna reach that boat until their 24 minutes have been reached. Then we see my man Garp, and he's on the floor while everyone's fighting. But then he starts talking, and everyone listens, bro. This man got aura, I ain't gonna lie to you. Bro starts giving out orders, he's like, hey you, go crash out. You, finally do something, and why are you even here? So they instantly respond, they move in like the monster trio. Helmeppo got sent back to crash out, you know what I'm saying? He better have that switch, because he's fighting the whole crew. This man, Garp, gets up, and he's looking beat up, and now he's still like, hey bruh, where is you going? You gotta finish this fade, you young niggas, man. He powers up, and Aokiji looking a little worried. And for a good reason, bro, I ain't gonna lie, okay? Garp hops in the air, and this man hits him with a down slam. This sort of flies across the entire map, jumping like pole. Bro literally turned into a plane at one point, okay? He rotates across the city and punches the biggest building for no reason, bro. He made up a new attack just to break this building. Bro, what? Do y'all hear me, bro? I am losing my mind. The hardest part about making videos is recording, bro. I cannot speak. But this right here is a tricky part because Garp already did enough. He can't do no much more. And the hand's about to wave down, even though it's supposed to already have been there like 15 minutes ago, okay? But it's Toei Animation. We get a flashback at Kobe training, just like Aokiji, but he's not black, so he's not as strong. He decides it's time to lock in and starts flying to honestly, I don't even know what's happening, bro. Like, if someone wants to explain this in the comments, go ahead and please tell me. All I know is he starts flying down like Rhodey in Avengers Civil War, okay? But then he falls into like some blue area. Like, I don't know, bro. They be animating anything. But I know there's some dude in here literally praying that he stops being trash. And after that, I guess bro's prayer got answered because this man Kobe locks in and gets some hockey. He starts moving kind of like Garp, you know what I'm saying? Moving different and destroys the entire arm. Then we see Garp laughing about it. And I was like, yo, let's go. We did it, guys. We, we did it. W-E, we did it. You know what I'm saying? And then he calls and he's like, yo, it's Garp, just go ahead and head out, you feel me? Just like, go ahead. And they're like, yo, what do you mean? We're gonna spin back for you, OG. Hell nah, these young niggas crazy. They already got the switches pointed at me, bruh. And my time is up, I'm too old. And honestly, after I disrespected Aokiji saying he was a bum, you know what I'm saying? I don't read the manga. I never seen this coming, bruh, my heart dropped. We got Kobe over here crying. This dude's crying, bruh, I was crying, bruh. My goat finna get switched down. But then we see him laughing as he's surrounded and turning into ice. These no good criminal thugs, bro. I don't care, okay? W Garp. You know what I'm saying? He got nerfed because Kobe nerfed him. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm gonna say, bro, okay? If you think this is Blackbeard W, you're retarded, okay? That old man soloed their entire crew, bro. They are garbage. 